Hello everyone, welcome to another MIDAS short video series. In this video, we will be talking about steel composite bridge design. So as we know, in any kind of a bridge structure, performing design is one of the most complex thing. But MIDAS simply makes this work very easy when we are having the incorporating codes in the bridge library like this. So to start with, we will first go under the structure tab and we will give the span information on which we need to perform the design. So I'll go under the span information tab and I'll first select my seal girders. You will see that we are having the substructure as well at this location. The piles and the pile cap are also modeled and we will define the span information. So I'll activate my span and I'm selecting these elements as these are comprising my span 1. So I give the name as girder 1A. And we will also give the inner direction of multiple girders. So the local axis for these elements is in the outward direction. If I just show this to you, here you see the Y is in the outward direction. So the multiple girders are present in the negative Y. That is why we are choosing this minus local Y. And I click on add. Once this is defined, I will click on add here. So in this manner, I have given the span information for this part. Similarly, we will provide it for the other spans. Once this is done, we can just simply perform the analysis. We are also having the moving load analysis in this case. You can see the two lanes has been defined as per as to LRFD. And once the analysis is completed, we can move towards the result part and we are having the option of load combination. So using this load combination tab, we can automatically define the load combinations as per the selected code. So I will choose this auto generation and I select task to error FD17 and click on OK. So the load combination for my strength and serviceability are defined for the corresponding factors. This makes the work very easy for me in the design part. So when we move to the design tab, here I go under the composite design. I will first select the code according to which I want to perform the design. So here you will see the numerous codes are present. We are selecting as to error FD17 and here when you see the load combination type, so as we have defined the load combinations automatically, you will see the strength and serviceability and the fatigue load combinations are categorized automatically by the software. Now we give the design parameters. So we can give the strength resistance factor and the design parameters that are to be checked like serviceability, strength, constructability, fatigue, shear connector. So I've checked all the parameters. We can just update this by code or we can make the changes to the factors. Then we give the design material. So the material that we are having is A53 and we give the corresponding concrete and the grade of the steel reinforcement that is present that will be considered in the design part. Then we give the longitudinal reinforcement. So we are having another video where we have shown how to define the re reinforcement. So you will see that the longitudinal reinforcement has been defined in this case. The next I will be giving the transfer stiffener. So I'll select the section and from here I can give the transfer stiffener. So I'm having one stiffener. I'll first select the material for my stiffener, then give the pitch, then the breadth and the thickness. In case we are having transfer at different at the bearing stiffener location, so we can give the bearing stiffener as well at this location by just selecting this and give the different inputs. Click on apply, click close. Then we give the unbreezed length. So in this case, I'm having unbreezed length as four meter. So I select my steel girder section like this and click on apply. Moving on, we will give the shear connector details. So from here, I can give the pitch that I'm having, then the height, die of shear connector, and then the strength. The transfer spacing we are having in this case is 0.13 and the number of shear connector as 2. Then length between maximum moment and zero moment. So I'm having a span of 24 meter. So the length between maximum moment and zero moment will be 12 since I'm having simply supported configuration. And here I will give the folds. I select my section and click on apply. After that, we can also give the conditions for fatigue parameter and the curved bridge info in case we are having a curved geometry. 
and then we can perform the design before performing the design here you will see that you will find the design positions that are to be considered for the design as of now we have given the inputs that will be considered for the design but we need to select the elements for which the software should perform the design so i'll click on the design position and from these elements i will just select an element 309 at the eighth location i'll click on apply we will consider the elements that are having the critical forces as of now i'm just selecting one element for the demonstration and for the design output also i'm selecting that element idas offers excel report generation for the design parameters that is why for the design output we will select the elements for which we want the excel report you will see that in a couple of minutes once this is done i can just perform the design this perform you will see in the message window like the message is shown that the composite seal girder design has been successfully completed now we can check the result here under the design result tables and results is shown for all the checks that we have performed for flexures shear constructibility then the fatigue so if i show one of the example for you so if i select the flexures check so you will see the values for the selected elements the moment that is coming and the demand to capacity ratio so in this manner we get the results in the tabular form and as we have discussed that we also get an excel report generated so we just need to click on print result once i click on print result i will get a thorough excel report that will show us all the results in this manner so on the top you will see the code that has been selected for the design check then the element details then here you will see the section information the longitudinal reinforcement and then the checks are performed for strength and serviceability so under the flexible resistance you will see the the load combination that is causing the maximum movement and the demand accordingly the checks are performed to check the values and for the checks for which the condition is not satisfied you will see the message as not good under the red color so here the depth to thickness of the web ratio is more than 150 that is more than the permissible that is why it is shown as not good while for the checks the values are okay it will be shown as okay in blue color we also have the clauses to refer on the right side so you will see the clause number and accordingly you can just refer them in case you feel any confusion with the design checks so in this manner all the checks for strength and serviceability serviceability are performed the flexure check then the shear check constructibility the torsional check and we will have the fatigue limit state check and also for the shear connectors and the longitudinal stiffness so in this manner we get a thorough report and this makes the work very easy for an engineer and i hope this video was helpful for you see you in the next